Hey y'all, it's your girl Brittany. I'm back better with another video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like the video, and click the bell to be notified of every time I post because I do post frequently. All right, y'all, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what we doing. We jumping, skipping, hopping, leaping, doing the Dougie into this video. Make sure y'all become a member on my Patreon. Link is down in the description box below for these clean sweeps that we about to do and this tea that we are about to jump into. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So miss diamond the body aka dtb because she be disturbing these girls has said that she will not be attending the reunion but then came back and said she will be attending the reunion now diamond make up your mind you going or you not like i don't have time for you to go back and forth now diamond had a valid reason for not coming and i'm gonna read it to y'all because when i tell y'all I'm not lining nobody up either if the check ain't gone clear and the check ain't big enough. Mind y'all, Diamond has a lot of squabbles with a lot of people. So, therefore, I definitely understand the check needing to the check needing to be huge out of this world because she has so many faces to line up. She's literally really fighting the whole cast at this point. Diamond writes, not going to the reunion, guys. Dot, dot, dot. Zeus trying to little girl me with my check. Dot, dot, dot. Will not, be a t will not be in attendance. Let's see how boring the reunion will be without me. Hmm. Just like I made the show, I'm making the reunion run me my money or I'm staying home. Period. Don't blame her. Now, before I get into the other tweets, I do want to get my commentary on this first. So, I believe Diamond is absolutely right. She is the controversy. She is the drama. She is the evil villain. The master manipulator, as I would say. So, yes, yeah, she needs to get that money. Like I said before, she is tussling basically majority of the cast. So, y'all need her to come. And Diamond, one thing she's going to do is a round for round for round. Now... You know, a lot of them, because I did a video on it, but, you know, I had to delete it, but we're going to bring it back. I said that, you know, she had like nine people on her list. And out of those nine, I said maybe three would get her a run for her money. Now, she's gotten into it with two of the three. I, I know I said Nunu and um, Kiva and Tzatziki. But I have underestimated Diamond because Diamond can get in the field with Nunu. Absolutely. Kiva, I'm um, no. I think Kiva give her a run for her money and Tasiki. But I don't understand why Zeus would think they were gonna lowball her when she's putting a lot of work off the show and on the show. Diamond has absolutely did her job more than enough. She's she's done her job way more in Tasiki, a biggie, a Natalie, a Scotty. She's done a lot this season to make sure she stayed in the mix, whether it was embarrassing herself um you know very much that like i have nothing else to add to it very much getting the feel and embarrassing herself just for camera time you know no i'm not no i i, I want her to get her check i do um diamond deserves her check more than a lot of them girls them og girls has been on there and that's just real that's just true diamond definitely has carried this season on her back so the fact that they were trying to lowball her and give her probably pennies when they when they was trying to give krishana two hundred thousand, ain't no way dtb starve them okay disturb them disturb them down and i don't blame her like and i'm glad she put it out because if she wouldn't have went and told nobody why she didn't go, they would have called her scared. They would have said that she a cloud chaser. But the fact that she told her audience and, you know, anybody else, she explained like, hey, no, they're, they're not trying to give me my money. Just give me my money. I need my money. And I don't blame her. She ain't made a song. She been doing the online stuff. Like, she has been going hard behind her storyline. So, yeah, she want her money for the reunion. So, once they seen that, I guess Zeus got a lot of backlash once Diamond said she was not coming because of that coin. I guess, let me say, hold on, hold on, hold on, Diamond. You didn't need to take it to the media. You know, you're, you don't have to do that. We are going to figure something out. You know, I wasn't aware they were trying to lowball you. We're going to figure something out so that way you can get your check, you can get your paper. And so Diamond ends up coming back and reneging, and I'm going to read y'all what she said. So Diamond writes, now now you, they, talking my language, see y'all at the reunion. Girl, I just needed her to just 
go back and read what she what she wrote but anyways so you know basically they went up and they cut her a nice check i wonder how much because she said that now that tv went up on her money as well since um she went back to them after you know she got off the baddies thing so i'm trying to figure out what's the checks looking like and i wonder how much they were trying to pay her at first like zeus got the money they have the coin very much they have the coin i'm trying to see how much they paying though i really want i want to know what's a low ball for zeus <laughs> you know i i mean because allegedly and now that's now that's tv they be paying them like 1500 2500 i'm sure diamond is making five thousand maybe maybe even seven maybe after after zeus maybe even seven and when she went to zeus they kept them for a month so i would say they probably gave them girls like twenty thousand thirty thousand i don't know what y'all think what do y'all think because i think that's how much they giving them maybe you know like the new girls not the ogs but the new girls maybe they giving the new girls like twenty thirty thousand that's what i'm thinking to stay for a month girl twenty thirty thousand i'm taking it DTB, what you doing? I'm disturbing these girls. Like, disturbing them. Brittany is disturbing them. Who want to get in the field? Right now, right now, right now. I'm on that. You know? Like, I wouldn't... I'd be right like her. But I ain't gonna lie. I'm sure her price has went up. She did another show as well Um, that's right behind Zeus. You know, the network, you know, is seemingly up there with Zeus, Um, to be honest. So, I'm sure she is like, no... You know, if it was 20, it needs to be like 40 now because they come to see me. I am David Ruffin. They come to see me. They, you know, regardless of if they want me to lose the fights, win, regardless, I'm getting in the field and they come to see me, Um, which is true. Because really, what other storylines is there? Tinka keeps saying she might be coming. She might not be. Meat Man saying she coming. She might not be. I mean, I could care less if she come or go if we just being honest. Now, I don't want to stay too long on Diamond because I do. I really, really do have to talk about Mariah. Now, I wish fi finally might be coming true. Mariah, it seems like, is not going to the reunion. And she is going to be closing this chapter of her life with baddies honestly i'm shocked but also i'm i'm happy for her um i'm i'm very happy for mariah and i'm gonna tell y'all why after i read the tweets of what she said so the first tweet says well might be sending this one out the other one says as a reality tv veteran i know when it's time to bow out and baby when i tell you it was so many views on it they was like yeah it's funny Okay, and it's like no shade, but I don't think baddies is for Mariah. Mariah don't don't give me baddies. She's she's a baddie, but she don't give me baddies. That's not necessarily I feel like a show that fits her personality for me. I can see Mariah on the love and hip hop. Like to be honest, that's that's real deal. I can see her on like a love and hip hop show or like a real housewife show not like atlanta but like another one i can see mariah being on other reality tv shows i think what gets mariah is the fighting part you know because a lot of these reality tv girlies are messy are backstabbers aren't real very fake you know very phony and that's okay because we need that entertainment so they need to come on there being fake and phony and not being trustworthy and being the villain you know we need somebody who real cutthroat tell tell the truth we need somebody who's silent in the background sneaky we need somebody who's gonna get drop kicked and everything we need those like we need people to play their position because everybody has a role but for me i feel like with mariah mariah it's just t the storylines are never in her favor even when it's in her favor it's not in her favor and i think because she is so little because they know she really can't tussle for real a lot of times people don't mind getting in the field with mariah because mariah is an easy a easy dub and two like i said mariah is just 
overly forgiving. I feel like when the situation came to her mama, we should have seen like a just vicious Mariah. She should have just been just been more vicious to me. It should have been more to it to me. Like, okay, if we start off with last season with Smiley taking her chain, Mariah was trying, but I think early on, they started separating themselves from Mariah. And, you know, they started seeing, like, Mariah is very, like, catty. And, you know, she is messy, but it started backfiring on her because then everybody wants to stick together. And they would rather not you stick with them, you know, and everybody picking and choosing. And it's like, everybody always pick you from Tzatziki. Tzatziki didn't mind saying something out the way to you, to Roly picking at you, to Sapphire feeling like she can bop you upside the head. I just feel like it's too many people here that just don't respect you and they can feel like they can put their hands on you. And then when y'all come and have a meeting, it's, Okay, well, that's fine. I forgive you. I just think Mariah is just way too passive on things that should make her feel some type of way. And, yeah, I do think Mariah be talking and stuff, but um, Mariah is like a good lick. And I don't think she noticed that she's the lick. It's never anybody else. It's always you. You're always going to be the lick. And I'm not being funny, but it's because you're... You trying to be one of them and you're not one of them. You know, like you can't get away with the same stuff they can get away with. And I and I hope y'all are trying I hope y'all can follow what I'm throwing down. Like you just can't get away with what they can get away with because number one of who who you are, number two, your character, and number three, you can't fight. And number three is the biggest one for real. Because if you could get down in the paint, you know, if you could and yes, you're trying, but that's all you're doing is trying. You're not mastering it. And then, too, um, I've seen that a lot of them is, like, boxing and stuff on Instagram, trying to get their weight up. I feel like y'all should have been doing this before y'all even got on there. Before y'all even got on bad, y'all should have been in these boxing rings and, you know, sparring or whatever the case is. Y'all should have been doing that. It shouldn't have took for y'all to get hit, molly walked, tussled with, parked, for y'all to have noticed, hey, I need to get my weight up. I might not be the strongest, you know, and, and that's okay to not be the strongest, but y'all have to put up a fight. And it's like, you're not doing that. And it's kind of like somebody's always coming in saving you as well. And then when they save you, they get irritated with themselves and get irritated with you for saving you. Like Roly sitting up there telling saying something to you, like you was you 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 know, talking about your mama and the fact that she gonna stop what she was doing and was like, Oh, I don't care about what you what you talking about anyways. Um why you sitting up here saying that you and Tzatziki deserve better treatment? Like, stuff like that, I feel like Mariah should have caught on to. And Mariah shouldn't, in my opinion, just let these women play with her like that. It should be no reason why these women believe that they, they could talk to you any type of way and all y'all grown. And it's a, it's, Mariah do stand up, but I feel like Mariah stand up when she, that's the only thing that she can do. It's not like, for example, with this last episode, Roly confident, confidently just getting on, getting on the um, the boat saying, "Oh, Mariah lost. Mariah got whooped." Just very confident. And Roly been saying something to you though. Roly been speaking out of turn when it came to you. You don't say that when she confronted you. Like I was saying, this was the thought I was trying to let me gather back, let me go back to it. When the whole thing about you and Tasiki need to get treated better, you you LeBron and she somebody, I don't know. Um, when she confronted you on that, I just felt like you was too calm. You know, you you trying to get to honor about your mama and this girl felt comfortable enough to stop you in your tracks and tell you that you don't need to get treated better. All, all y'all, all y'all gonna get treated fairly, but she the second highest paid. 
why she even talking to you? And then when Tasiki ran in, she ain't say nothing to Tasiki. That's somebody picking and choosing, and you're and you allowed her to meet for a for a while to just keep coming at you. And because you kept allowing it, now she feel like you ain't gonna never say nothing to her. And when you finally do say something to her, in a way, it's kind of like it's too late. In a way, it's kind of like it's too late. It's not too late because you can say something. You could definitely get at her. But it seemed like it's too late because it's like, okay, well, she been saying something. You finally said something to her. It's like you've been supposed to say something to her. So for me, I think it's a great thing that Mariah is understanding that, you know, she does need to get herself together and i think a lot of times too not only you know the cast picking at her also you know people the fans or the viewers or whatever y'all want to call them people are mean i know i am i know i get my critique all the time and it's always not in mariah's favor most of the time it's not in mariah's favor and i think that's gone to mariah and you you know these ain't i mean it is like quote unquote young girls who watch it it is girls like you know um 20 late 20s early 20s who watch it but a lot of times it's a lot of children that watch it too so you get out the car you just trying to do your job and people boo you but they ain't boo nobody else that that can't get to you mentally so i think for her own mental health her sister mental health and her mama mental health she just needs she needs to leave the show just because I don't feel like the show has served her if anything it has put a a bad taste in your mouth because just say you got her order wrong she be like hey babe I, you got my order wrong oh, girl girl you don't shut up and so and I know I'm being dramatic with the example but it's like you you've lost respect for her now, everybody and their daddy don't watch baddies. You know, it's it's a certain demographic of people who watch baddies. So, I'm not going to say that baddies necessarily affects her for real, for real, in her everyday life. But, you know, here and there, depending on where she go, it probably does affect her. And I do think people like Mariah, but I think it's a, a lot of more people who don't care for Mariah than people who do. And, like she said, I think she needs to bow out gracefully from this show but i do think mariah could be great on another show and once she like cuts that you know oh i'm i'm from new york i don't play this da 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 you know what's coming out your mouth don't transfer over to how you look you know it don't and like she said she more focused on her music i went up and looked up her music one time somebody listening to it somebody likes mariah's music so i think that it would be better for her to do that or you know do something else a podcast or something i think you know it's a lot of things that of uh, avenues mariah can go into i think she can go into a podcast and really just talk about her experience on zeus and stuff like that too i do i think that she she'll be great because she liked to run her mouth so I think she'd be great at that, and that's no shade. But yeah, like I'm happy for her. I am happy for Mariah. You know that she is leaving, and not just because I'm a viewer, but just because I'm thinking about her mental health. You know, and I see it from me watching. I see that baddies has not served her. It might have served her pockets, but too when you go on a show where don't nobody respect you. These people don't respect her. You know, these people don't care nothing about her. That could get overwhelming and that can get draining. And, you know, saying people saying something in the comments and stuff like that, that can get draining too. And whatever her check was, she probably saved it. She probably was like, I'm going to save my check. I'm going to save my check. And after I save my check, um, you know, I'm a, you know, whatever, how much they gave her. I'm sure they gave Mariah like a hundred thousand. Mariah probably up there when it comes to a bag. Cause um did she audition last season? I think she did. Her and her sister. Yeah. Her and her sister auditioned. Maybe she didn't get no good bag like that. Cause she auditioned. They didn't seek her out. She seeked them out. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Her bag mm, her bag probably is like a hundred thousand. I don't know. But I'm just guessing her for how much Mariah work and put on a show 
Mariah Bag is probably hefty. Maybe last season wasn't that big. It may have been 50000 last season. But this season, maybe a hundred. All right, y'all. But I'm finna stop counting Mariah's pockets. I'm finna let y'all go. And I'm finna go and move on to the next video. All right, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. Bye. Let me know your thoughts down below.